intersecting each other, you get two types of angles. One type of angles called uh, that are formed are vertical angles. And vertical angles are going to be congruent. So for these two lines, we're going to actually have two sets of vertical angles. Here's our first set. And here is our second set. So notice that the angles remain congruent. The second type of angles formed are called supplementary angles. And those are angles whose sum equal 180 degrees. Now, only one set of supplementary angles are show, showed here. But in fact, uh, this angle would be supplementary with this angle. And this angle here would be supplementary with the angle here as well. So if, um, as the angle changes, since those angles remain supplementary angles, they're going to, their sum will equal 180 degrees. Here and this line here are parallel lines. That means they go on forever and ever, but they will never intersect. This line here is called a transversal. And that is simply a line that intersects two parallel lines. Now, when you have a transversal and two parallel lines, you get three different types of angles that are formed. One type are alternate interior angles. So these are color coded 69 degrees, 69 degrees, 111, 111. So angle B, G, H is an alternate interior angle to angle G, H, D. And the same is true for angle A, G, H, and C, H, G. Interior, because they're on the inside of the parallel lines. We also have alternate exterior angles. These are on the outside or exterior of the parallel lines. Again, alternate, um, so they alter on the sides of the uh, transversal. Angle B, G, E is congruent with angle F, H, D, and then angle C, H, F is congruent with angle E, G, A, and those again are alternate exterior angles. And even if I move the transversal, those angles are going to remain congruent. The last kind of angle that we're going to refer to uh, for this portion are corresponding angles. Now, unlike alternate interior angles, where they're on alternate sides of the transversal and alternate exterior angles, again, alternate sides of the transversal, these angles are called corresponding angles. And these angles are on the same side of the transversal. But notice um, you can have one on the interior and one on the exterior. So B, G, E, and C, H, G, those angles are congruent. Those are, alter, those are corresponding angles. So those are the corresponding angles um, on the left side of the transversal here. We have more corresponding angles on the right side of the trans, um, transversal. So angle E, G, A and angle G, H, D are uh, corresponding angles. And then um, I won't name the angle here, but the purple one here and the purple one here our corresponding angles as well. All right, and before we finish the video, I just want to make sure that you are familiar with this symbol right here, and that is congruent to. You should remember it from last year, but just in case you didn't, this is what it looks like. And then when I have two parallel lines to indicate that they're parallel, I'll include these little arrows on the lines. Um, they're going to be going in the same direction. If I had more than two parallel lines, I could include additional arrows to indicate uh, or distinguish between uh, two other parallel lines. As far as application goes for knowing corresponding angles and alternate interior angles and the others, um, here we have two parallel lines indicated with the little arrows. We've got a measurement for one angle and a measurement for another angle. I know those angles are, are corresponding angles, and since I know that they're corresponding angles, they're going to be congruent angles. So in order to find out what the value for x is, I'm just going to make those two values equal one another. 
and then kind of cutting the whole process short, um, subtracting 2x from both sides, and then adding 15 to both sides, we find out that x equals 22. What you'll need to do for this lesson, then, is memorize all the different types of angles discussed in the lesson. That way, when you see a problem, you're going to know how the angles relate to one another.